so you need to use your willpower smartly and efficiently for a long enough time so that the stones in these vessels decrease and the stones in this vessel on on your side of the vessel on the winner effect vessel should increase now with this model in the mind let's test the everything in moderation kind of approach to diet most people uh, what the everything in moderation approach mainstream advice for that is that just eat try to eat whole foods but you know it's okay if you eat a piece of cake here or a scoop of ice cream there as long as you're hitting your calories you're going to be fine in that case what is happening very very what is going very very wrong is you are still giving your brain the trailer and the cues of how ice cream tastes or how pizza tastes you're still basically constantly renewing and strengthening those built up food reward pathways so in this model what you're doing is you're still adding on stones many people think that in the flexible model of dieting basically everything in moderation kind of stuff you are not really using your willpower completely totally wrong if you are doing moderation you have to count and weigh and measure your food that is a very complex process and basically you have to like uh, calculate and weigh and measure every bite of food that you are eating so it is get, it is consuming a lot of mental bandwidth and it is uh, consuming your willpower so as long as you are losing weight your brain is going to have that winner effect of losing weight seeing abs in the mirror or getting people's attention and your brain is going to make those association associations of counting calories weighing and measuring things and losing weight so you are going to fill this vessel anyway as long as you are losing weight when you do everything in moderation you are not decreasing stones from this vessel you are not fading out the built up dopamine induced food reward pathways now if you do abstinence on the other hand if you say that i'm just not going to eat anything that is going to contribute to this side of the story then what happens is you are going to rapidly decrease stones from these vessels and you are as long as you are losing weight you are going to add stones in this vessel but in that case because of which you are using your willpower too much to avoid and restrict yourself you are also going to run out of that willpower very very soon before this vessels these vessels decrease significantly enough or go empty so in everything in moderation case this thing just does not decrease and in abstinence this thing does decrease but you cannot do it for long enough time to make it go away completely so here is what you need to do what you need to do is you need to start from abstinence start from a diet that is very very restrictive as restrictive as you can avoid as many food groups as you can get nutrient dense whole foods foods that are uh, you know th that do that are not hyper palatable that are not too very tasty too very damn tasty start from there start your journey from there and as you lose weight you need to move through the spectrum of abstinence to moderation towards moderation so when you lose weight at the point that you have achieved your uh, weight goal uh, your weight loss goal you should be at moderation this approach starting from abstinence and going towards moderation is the approach that works that has to work and works every single time this approach picks the best from both worlds so even if you say start from abstinence and you just cannot do it and you start suddenly because of some stressful event you go and eat a bucket of ice cream you know that you are going to go towards moderation anyway so this mess up in your discipline it is not going to really you know it's not really going to matter in long term what i mean to say is you need flexibility to navigate between abstinence and moderation and in long term you need to move from abstinence towards moderation you need to start your journey as strict as you can avoid all the food groups that don't really help you with weight loss like for example grains or grains and things like that you need to restrict yourself as much as you can lose weight and move towards moderation so when you have lost weight and you have built and filled up this bucket this side of the things and you have significantly emptied these sides of the vessels because you are mostly practicing abstinence and you're moving towards moderation in that case you will basically pick both best of both worlds by the time you have lost goal you have filled you would have filled this bucket basically what i mean by filling this vessel is 
you would have formed all the awesome habits and behaviors that you need to navigate through this world and make the right food choices at the right time and really maintain the all the weight that you have lost most people generally polarize themselves to either of the two and it just does not work so how to really do that how to start from abstainers and how to move towards moderation so what i will recommend is to start from like eliminating all the food groups that are you can say that doesn't really help with weight loss so for example if you are to really see uh, grains are something that are there are many reasons for not to eat them eating them is not going to really harm you for the most part but eliminating them is going to do you more good than harm in my opinion so you need to eliminate anything that is not really very healthy and you need to start focusing on real nutrient dense foods as nutrient dense as you can as nutrient dense as you can get so like meat seafood nuts seeds eggs um you know things like that uh, vegetables so basically a food that is filled with nutrient density and doesn't have a lot of empty calories also food that does not really taste very good you need to make your food barely qualify as eatable when you're starting the journey and as you move towards moderation as you start to lose weight and you think that this is getting very tough this is getting very difficult to really sustain add in a food group or add in a add in something that will make you move a little bit ahead so say that you are practicing a grain legume free diet uh, or a ketogenic diet that is an awesome upstay form of abstinence you are like eliminating an entire micronutrient so that is awesome you are eating only meat eggs seafood nuts seeds uh, some dairy and vegetables now you you are feeling that it is getting very very hard to really do this at that point what you can do is start introducing some amount of fruit or some amount of legumes or something to to make it easy and make you go forward a lift a little bit more when you run out of that and it gets difficult again you again introduce something that will help you move ahead some more so in this way you just just start introducing one simple thing one simple thing step by step by step and by the end you lose weight you need to reach at a place where you are basically eating something that having basically your diet is something uh, that is you are practicing moderation you are having good amount of nutrient density in it and your overall diet is really healthy and you can sustain it uh for the rest of your life or when i mean sustain it you won't have any problem for sustaining because all the bad things in moderation won't be there because you have gone through this period of abstinence to really fade out those all the reward pathways in your brain so i hope this i hope you understand understood this because this got really complicated and very very long just make sure after you have lost weight and you have reached your weight loss uh, loss goal and you are practicing moderation don't indulge in very rewarding foods too frequently eat them in moderation but have some sort of discipline and a structured flexibility instead of just like complete chaos so i hope you understood all of that if i if i were to just simplify it all the, the whole video in one sentence what you need to do is start from a restrictive approach go towards moderation when you will lose weight as you lose weight you need to move towards moderation and at moderation practice moderation uh, how socrates says moderation everything in moderation including moderation so i hope you liked it and understood it if you did hit the like button uh, hit the subscribe button uh, for more such videos on weight loss health nutrition diet and all that kind of stuff uh, press the bell icon and you know the you know the complete drill of it do that and i will see you in the next video Please.